I want you to close your eyes and think to yourself. I want you to imagine what a scientist or an engineer looks like to you. Think about what may, they might look like, act like, talk like, dress like. Now, open your eyes and hold on to that. Did any of you imagine me? It's okay if you didn't. You see, at the age of five, I just knew I was gonna be an architect. And then at seven, that planned architecture career turned into a career in chemistry, biology, geology, and then I added on in meteorology at 12. Clearly, I knew I was gonna be a very busy adult. <laughs> and then at 14, I started to gain some other interests. And I started to get interested in style, in fashion, in pageantry, and aerospace. And I got to high school, and you know you're around that age where you start getting asked about careers and passions and choosing one. I was told when expressing my seemingly contrasting interests that I would probably have a better shot at pursuing fashion, because girls just didn't fare well in science, technology, engineering, math, or something called STEM. Now, when I heard that, something, or rather everything within me rejected that and asked, why? Who said that girls couldn't fare well in STEM? Why, because of my other interests, can't I also pursue a career in chemistry, biology, geology, meteorology, and yes, aerospace? And you see, what almost happened to me happens all across the globe, where studies show that for girls age 15, 60% already say that STEM studies would be too difficult and careers in STEM too challenging or too out of reach. A lack of role models was highlighted as a possible factor with 77% of girls saying that STEM sectors just didn't have enough role models that could be looked up to. And I never saw these stats into practice until my first day of college, and I am dressed up in a hot pink suit, ready to take the aerospace industry by storm. And the only thing that I could compare it to is Elle's first day at Harvard and Legally Blonde. <laughs> and I am just strutting down the hallway on my way to my very first aviation class. I get there, I open the door, and I am one of two girls in the class. One of five in the entire program. The question that plagued my mind since that day became, how do we get more young girls into STEM? Now, think back to when I asked what a scientist or an engineer looks like to you. I imagine many other women and myself are probably not what first comes to mind. The truth is, our girls of today are not seeing adequate representation of themselves, leading to the decreased likelihood that they would even want to pursue STEM careers in the future. My mission is to combat these pre-existing notions, ignite the passion for learning that transforms our girls of today into the scientists of tomorrow. With my organization, Next Gen in STEM, I'm doing just that and empowering the next generation of girls to see themselves for who they can be. Through sharing my own experiences as a science communicator, where I get to talk about chemistry, biology, meteorology, geology, just like I had wanted when I was five, and much more courageous. And each time I speak to these young girls, I always emphasize that I did also stay true to my 14-year-old self. So while I did end up at NASA, I also ended up at Fashion Week and on pageant stages. And throughout each of these experiences, I found that I could remain authentic to my seven-year-old self and do it for 12-year-old me on a daily basis. But I could really be multifaceted, like the true meaning were similar to meals I could have on a hard hat and goggles at breakfast, a camera cordless mic and feathers on at lunch, and finish it off at dinner on a screen near you in a lab coat. <laughs> Multifaceted where you can be excited about both tutus and technology. You can be just as enthralled by puff sleeves as you are about Python, sequins as you are about SQL. Multifaceted where we as a community can imagine that yes, this is what a scientist looks like and these are all the things that an engineer can love as well. So that our young girls can reimagine these careers for themselves, not despite their passions, but rather regardless of. 
becoming the role models that they once admired. And even if there was no path set before them, they can still go where there is no road and forge a trail behind them. Just like the woman before me who had no path but created one behind them, from the hidden figure of GPS to the first American woman in space to the former director of Johnson Space Center, the Gladys West, the Sally Rides, the Ellen Ochoas, these women who inspired me and became my representation so that I can in turn inspire the next generation, the next yous, the next me's, the next shift in industry where we will no longer be the outliers or the ceiling breakers, but rather the space makers and system shakers. So I encourage us to encourage us. I encourage you to embrace being multifaceted, where you and I can reach back to when we were five and seven and 12 as kids, where we could show up as something or someone different every single day. Where you could have that same courage to embrace all of your passions, even if they're all over the place. Because for me, I found that I was happiest when I was pursuing all of my interests and even combining them from using AI and machine learning to predict fashion trends for brands across the globe, or simply just wearing that pink suit while coding because it gives me confidence and serves as a reminder of the young woman who never gave up on that passion for chemistry, biology, geology, meteorology, and yes, aerospace. And so for the last time, when I ask you to close your eyes and imagine what a scientist looks like, or think about what an engineer looks like, I want you to open them. Open your eyes to the endless possibilities for that little girl across the street who runs around in an astronaut suit and a tiara. The young woman at Fashion Week who the next morning struts into work at the Flight Control Center, ready to conquer a different runway. And all of the women across the globe who are continuing to take up space, creating something out of nothing, and becoming the representation for themselves. Because the next time you imagine what a scientist looks like, or the next time you imagine what an engineer looks like, it could be you with the ability to maximize your life to the fullest potential, where that multifaceted career in chemistry, biology, geology, astronomy, and yes, aerospace is possible. Thank you. <laughs>